Our prize for the best thesis in health, education, or welfare goes to Gabriel Zweigel for his thesis on segregation and upward mobility, evidence from neighborhood tipping. Congratulations uh, to Gabriel. I'm honored to accept the Senior Thesis Prize in Economics for my thesis, Segregation and Upward Mobility, Evidence from Neighborhood Tipping. In my paper, I study how growing up in a racially segregated neighborhood affects the long-term incomes of poor children. I find that racial residential segregation has substantial negative consequences for their potential for upward socioeconomic mobility. I use a novel empirical strategy based on the neighborhood tipping theory to causally identify the long-term consequences of segregation on income. Models of residential sorting indicate that once the minority share in a neighborhood exceeds a critical threshold tipping point, the neighborhood will undergo white flight and minority in-migration, resulting in racial segregation. Key insight is that otherwise similar neighborhoods whose minority share is on either side of a threshold value will experience vastly different changes in demographic composition. From this observation, I use estimated tipping points in a regression discontinuity design to instrument for segregation and overcome the endogeneity of neighborhood sorting. The intuition is that individuals living in neighborhoods just above the tipping point should be comparable to individuals living in neighborhoods within the same city, which are just below the tipping point. I find that a 10 percentage point increase in neighborhood minority share resulting from segregationary white flight causes a four percentile reduction in average adulthood rank in the household income distribution for poor children. Translating this effect into dollars, this increase in segregation reduces the average annual household income of a poor child by nearly $4,500 or 12% of their income. I also find that the effect of growing up in a segregated neighborhood is significantly more harmful for the upward mobility of poor white children than the upward mobility of poor black children. Nonetheless, the absolute degree of mobility remains lower for blacks than for whites. These results strongly suggest that there would be substantial long-term returns to policies that directly reduce residential segregation. I'm very grateful for the mentorship of my advisor, Professor Owen Zadar, who supported me throughout the development of this work. I'd also like to thank Professor Lea Bustan for her encouragement and advice. Finally, I'd like to thank my parents for their love and support. Thank you.